Some families are still living in this dangerous and nearly deserted condominium because they have no other place to go. And while Orange County deputies and commissioners are working to clean up Blossom Park, even they are frustrated it might not be enough. If you were watching at 4, you heard the sheriff's office brief commissioners on Blossom Park today. It's one of the worst areas in the county for drug overdoses. Channel 9's Kathy Bellich was at today's commission meeting, and Kathy knew this hour the sheriff's office said it needs help. Yeah, the county cannot force people out or tear down buildings after hundreds of arrests, drug seizures, and fines of up to $1 million. A lot of taxpayer resources are still being used there for about 20 legitimate residents. A woman carried a young child at Blossom Park Condominium yesterday down a stairwell the county has deemed unsafe, but nothing can be done. We don't know whether she's a legitimate resident because Orange County Code Enforcement says half the 40 people who have not left are squatters. We asked the sheriff's office and the county why squatters are still there. Everybody has a right to stay where they can, and to disprove that, like I said, is, is such a thin line. Removing squatters is the responsibility of the court-appointed receiver uh, working with law enforcement. The sheriff's office says in just eight days in August, it channeled 1,700 officer hours and $48,000 to Blossom Park to tighten its grip on the drugs, overdoses, and prostitution. In one year, deputies have made more than 200 arrests, seized more than 200 grams of drugs, and more than $7,000, and still, it's one of the county's worst overdose pockets. We can't arrest our way out of it. But now, the drug dealers are on the move. I would hope that this is giving the sheriff's office an opportunity to try to, to get at some of those, I know those sting operations that you all do that we don't talk about, where you try to really find out where is this coming from. And as we said, no one can force out the legitimate renters and owners living there. And today we found out the HOA is paying the utility bills, even though no one here today could figure out how that could be since so few owners are paying dues and getting rent. Reporting live from the Orange County Administration Building, Kathy Bellich, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.